Good evening, everyone. I decided I'd do a quick unboxing for a device that I just purchased, which is the Butterfly IQ Plus, uh, the newest edition of the portable ultrasound device from the Butterfly Network. Um, and I have some other items here that I purchased with the probe, which include the case, as well as the actual holster. And I just wanted to show this off for people who might be interested in a ultrasound device to see what the unboxing is like for this item. So first off, as far as the holder, which I purchased, which I thought would be just for ease, um, it comes in this kind of nifty design that I was kind of unfamiliar with. And the portable the sound design, I initially thought I wasn't going to get it off and I was going to have to break this carton, but you actually do not have to do that. There's actually a release mechanism, which is here on the left, which you just squeeze, and then from that it comes off. So when it goes onto your hip, the, when the probe is in there, you kind of just click in without doing anything. No, actually click, it actually smoothly goes in, and then you squeeze this button on the side to let it go. So you just push it in, and then really firm and steady, and I like the design already. It's, we'll see how it is in terms of bulk, but it seems relatively light, so I think that's a good thing for the, for the device and for the design. Moving over to the case which I have on my left, um, I decided to get the case for, port for carry because if you're going to spend money on something that's as expensive as this ultrasound device is, you might as well get a case. It just doesn't make sense to not invest in the money. Same way when you get a bicycle, they say invest about 10% of the like, 10% of the price on the lock. I felt that this uh, portable case was important for that purpose. So I'm opening it for the first time. It looks like there's a, a handle on the side, which is, which is great. Um, I think that's in, you know, for portability and care, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, oh, and there's locks on the side, kind of standard locking mechanism, it looks like. Okay, nice and firm and steady. First time I did it, so that's pretty good. And then it looks like there's a nice, slender, sleek design um, for both the probe as well as the, um, the, uh, the wiring. Right, that should go in there. I'm not sure if it'll fit in there with the, with the actual handle. Probably not, so this is probably something that's going to have to be separate and just hold it and clip it onto your side, but nonetheless, this is a sleek and stylish so i'm with that i'm with that and you see the case is very stern like ferdy firm and sturdy um, design so i think that's a great look on their end from butterfly network so far this is again the butterfly case that i purchased for the butterfly probe all right so we looked at the holster and then we looked at the case now let's go on to the probe and this is literally the first time i'm opening it up so you're going to see it with me in real time what the box looks like sliding that case off Alright, opening up, see what it looks like once we actually open it up. A lot of air pressure is nice and tight, so it's a well designed. So, you know, when it's being shipped over in its casing, you make sure you don't actually uh, damage the product. That's kind of important. So, that's an excellent on their part. Kudos to Butterfly for that. Alright, the probe is out. It's about to be on sheets for the first time. Oh, it's nice and cold. There's a little nicely designed battery. Oh, oh it's already charged. Oh, snap. It might be ready to go. Okay. We have the notch on the side, which uh, indicates directionality. So when you're looking on the screen, there's usually a notch indicated on the screen, which will be for reference. And the cable is underneath. Now, the Butterfly IQ Plus does come with either a USB or I believe a Lightning connect connection. Um, so it's fielder's choice in that regard. But I ended up opting to go with the... USB-C, um, because that is, I use Android, and that's the world that I live in. Although you're not, again, not beholden to that. Let's see what else comes here. Generic little thingamajig to about how downloading the app and whatnot. Okay. Then we also have little stickers, I guess, if you wanted to be a fan, boy, girl, or person for a butterfly, you can put that up somewhere. This appears to be kind of like a, is this a docking station, I think, maybe, or a holding station for it? Kind of like a holding station for it. Here's a charger. Uh, a generic charger. And I guess, oh, they provided probes for different countries. Ah, snap. So if you're traveling to a different country, then you show us my mother. What up to Antonio? What up to Eddie? So if you're traveling and you need a different charger for a different country, they have you covered depending on the country you're going to. Um, I still would check voltages and whatnot before you start just plugging stuff in, before you burn your device out. Uh, so these are different slots that they have for the Echo Probe. Um, again, this is that Butterfly IQ Plus, which is currently running for $19.99. The holster runs for about $49.99, which I have over here. Which I, oh, so which I have over here. This is the holster, and then the case runs, I believe, for $190 or $199. See, so this is the cable for the charger. So this is just uh, sits. 
So there's a connection and then the cable will go into that doesn't come out. Alrighty, so I guess it's gonna have to plug into the, the block which I just had. And then we'll get the US adapter onto there. The US adapter slide onto there. Yeah. Snaps right in, great design. Uh, you have the cable which goes in. This end of the cable, sort of the USB old school adapter for the old Android phones would go into the actual holder or the docking station, which would be this thingy. It goes in on the side. I'm not sure why they opted to choose. This is kind of a weird design choice in terms of why go with this old style USB. I mean, obviously it's probably cheaper admittedly, but why use that old technology, especially when they're fast charging uh, USB-Cs that you can use nowadays to sort of standardize it. But small critique there. So that's a little, little dang, but not the worst. And then uh, you put the probe on top and I guess it has the wireless uh, charging mechanism that it would offer. I'll go ahead and plug it in and make sure that that works So we can all see that in real time. I do have an outlet nearby thankfully. So here goes the base I'll go ahead and put the device on top and see if it sort of Charges automatically or if I need to oh, there you go. So the light come on you may not see the light come on right there As soon as I took it off It just started charging right away Bam so that's how that goes. And let's see how it fits into the case right now. Again, this is the brand new case that I just got using it for the first time. This is the Butterfly IQ Plus. Personal ultrasound device, portable ultrasound device. Primarily purchased it for education and professional use. Um, I think it's a great device, at least from the reviews that I've been seeing. Um, you know, whether you're an educator or a physician, a sonographer in training, um, someone who's just an enthusiast, just the designer over it overall, just fantastic. So I guess, uh, I, I guess maybe everything could fit in here if the wire wraps around Would wrap around this portion of the cable over and over again. So that'll fit tightly in there. Then I can fit in the carrying case as well as the Docking station can go into here. All right, that's what's up right there uh, Might be a little a little tight a little tight, but uh Might be able to get all this in there potentially Cable I can fit around wrapping around and then Oh, I don't want to muck that up. Maybe if I separate them into two pieces. Most of it can fit into the case. <laughs> Comfortably. I have to see if there's a way to finagle and having the charger in there as well at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. I think it might be possible. It might be possible. Just got to work out the, the geometry in this. It should be able to go... Um, it's got to unwrap this cable. It's, it's an unboxing, so might I sell seed in real time. Bring them on camera. Bring, uh, bring what on camera? That's what Emma's saying. What do you want me to bring on camera, just to be clear? So I've got the Butterfly IQ. Putting the probe on uh, the cable. Wrapping around. Apparently the case styling was important. In, or, or Sorry, the type of cable versus the IQ. Uh, regular IQ versus the IQ Plus. There's different different apps on uh, functionality and quality of imaging on the apps, um, as well as that the length of the cable and the style, the way it kind of wiggles at the end, has also been adapted and augmented due to feedback from users um, regarding like the way it would bend here and kind of potentially damage the device. So that was something that was brought to the attention of the designers, and they helped to address that in the second version of the device, which I think is kudos to them for listening to the users. It's a little tight in there, I would say. Uh, I think that's suboptimal, a little bit of bulging, but the case will probably close. And I don't want to force it because I don't want to damage it on day one. But um, the holster looks like it will not be able to go in there comfortably with the device. And that's okay because you can obviously hold it on your side. But this will close firmly. Ready to go and ready to carry. So that's the Butterfly IQ Plus. Um, Ultrasound Pro, portable ultrasound probe, newly designed by the Butterfly Network. That's the case. So the probe retails right now for about $19.99, and then the case retails for about $49.99, and then the um, hard hardcover carrying case runs for about $199.99. So, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Time to actually play with it.
Thank you all for tuning in.